What's poppin' fam? What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Black at ya. Back at ya in the short video of a sip of my tea. Ah, what's up, fam? It's gonna be a short video here, like always, right? Like I say, you wake up one time, you are blessed. You see my beautiful face, you are. You got it, blessed, right? Anyway, fam, this video's gonna be about, it's like a response video of what I made last night. I made a video last night. The title was, Obama has done nothing to help his brother George, who lives in Nairobi, in the ghetto. True facts. I don't make things up, you know. I didn't even have the documentary, but I saw him. I was like, oh, I know, I know saw it before, right? Which I didn't even know he had a, um, I knew he had a brother, but I never saw the guy before. Right? Now, as a matter of fact, I did see one of the brothers. Like, he's also mixed, also biracial. I think he lives in London, somewhere, France. I saw him, but I didn't see the Nairobi brother, you know, the family there. Anyway, so I, I watched the documentary, viewed it, and it was pathetic. It made me so, made me mad, made me angry, you know, that this dude will leave his brother, a little brother, inside some Nauri ghetto who's strung out, and not help him. The richest man in the world, not the richest man, but the most powerful man, say, in the world, supposedly, right? And your families live inside a, a Nairobi ghetto, right? And I spoke about this, and then what happens? I wake up one time. Negroes attack me. When I say Negroes, I don't mean, like I said before, Negroes or Spanish, from the Spanish language, Negroes. I mean Negroes. You ones that's on your goddamn knees, always looking up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Attacking me in one time. One of those that you need to mind, you, sh you should mind your business. They got these stupid little um, comments like, damn, do y'all see the real picture I'm, I'm trying to put inside your, your, your fool's heads? Like I said, um, it was something I not said, but Marcus Garvey says something about all blacks are not worth to take like back to Africa and things like that. They can be left here because they're really worthless. It's really what, the, what I'm saying. Some brothers need to just be left behind because they're real stupid, you know? Really, really just like have nothing in their goddamn brain, you know? They want to sit there. Like I say also this here, I'm a short. If you want to pacify a Negro, all you got to do is give him hope. Hope, that's all he needs. And that's what that's like a slave master. They give you hope, hope. Hope or sheer crop will give you hope. Maybe one year, this year, you will make ends meet and break even the sheer crop. This is hope, hope, right? But everyone won't come at them. And like I'll say again, if you want to touch a Negro heart and make a Negro upset, you know, make her <coughs> talk about Jesus <coughs> and talk about goddamn Obama. They, uh, uh, hope, see what I'm saying? Hope, like the Jesus, hope. You, <coughs> excuse me. You never saw him, but you have hope. You got this book here, you the picture on your wall, but it's hope. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with hope, but goddamn black people live on hope for goddamn hundreds and hundreds of years in America, right? But now we got President Obama came in. I'm not saying he's a, a totally a-hole. I don't know the man. I've never met this man. But as a research I does, I, I check on him, it's like, I don't see the big thing in him. I don't see why blacks are so much into him. You know, like, what? This is a black man. Like I said, father from Kenya, mother from Kansas. He does not know our plight, falls in slavery, right? So therefore, he doesn't have the same feelings as you. But you will still put your, your hope and praise to this man, yeah, and for reparations. Someone who does not support reparations as a black man, but you will still support him and go all out for him, okay? If another candidate would say, um, I'm not supporting reparations, it would be a big issue. It would be a big issue. People keep talking about it and, oh, uh, we don't want to vote for him. But since Obama has um, the same color skin, people won't let him in, you know? But like I say, we, he did not go to Kenya. It's, it's not like he, he grew up in there and kept going back and forth in the summertime, like we would go down south and see grandma and something like that, South Carolina. No, he did not do that, you know? He had money. He was a senator. It was like he was a poor man that he could not travel. He, 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 he always had money. His stepfather, the Indonesian man, was a, has millions and millions of dollars, this guy. He's filthy rich. So you think he, he's not filthy rich? Why well, he ain't go? He had no interest in that shit there. He had no fucking interest in going back to Kenya and see his, his family over there. You know, but when we go over there, they're like, oh, they're happy, quiet. Of course, they live in some poverty and they're happy. Their brother is a president, right? What's a gift and a curse? Imagine you walk around, you strung out, you look like this dude here, but he's just darker and... Everyone's calling Obama, Obama, making jokes at him, you know, making jokes to him, like, pick it at him because look at you. You poor, filthy, you strung out, your kids are starving, your wife's starving, you ain't got shit. But Obama's a president, and the whole world say they love him. We'll give him a Nobel Peace Prize. 
A Nobel Peace Prize for what? We got your little brother out there strung out in Kenya, you ain't helping him. But you get a Nobel Peace Prize. Get the hell out of here. Like I say, black people, you if you want to pacify them, not black people, Negroes, excuse me, Negroes, give them some hope. We, we'll do this for you. We'll do this for you. The same as the, every year for his <laughs> four year elections come. It's like hope. What can you do for us? What can you do for us? What's the plan? This and that. You goddamn fools, you Negroes, get up your goddamn knees. There's no goddamn plan for you. There'll never be a plan for you. The plan is to get your own businesses, make your own money, and come up yourself and stop looking for someone else to do it. Stop looking for hope, you know? Look at reality. Just do it here. Hey, like I said, this is my channel. You don't like what I put on? I'm not begging you to subscribe or you move on. Get the hell out of here. These are my views and my views are 100% correct. I'm not going to support no black man. I don't care who he is that's telling me and my people we don't deserve reparations, but you're going to give Israel $38 billion annually of my tax money. Man, y'all better fucking wake up, man. Hit the like, hit the dislike, subscribe to Black Yacht. Why? Because I keep it real and I bring up real topics. I ain't no fool neither, and I'm out. Peace.